A length and a half away then, Prince Moritz shading down on the rails, Tomahawk. A length away behind them, excellent Jerry travelling up pretty well. Slick Nuva is taking off before the home corner for Parnham. At the 450, he pulls out three deep. Down on the inside next of all is Alia. And the tail ender is Usherette coming around the home corner. Crypto Kid straightened up, about three quarters of a length clear. On the outside is My Lena. And now Tomahawk running on, Slick Nuva, excellent Jerry behind them. It's Tomahawk on the outside getting his head in front when they go to the 100 though, it's Tomahawk, he quickly dashes up running on his slick mover, down on the inside Mylena, but Tomahawk too good Tomahawk won the first, over slick mover Mylena ran third from Crypto Kid, excellent Jerry, then from last Usher Ritt, dropping out is Alia, and a long last Prince Moritz Sean, a really nice start to Melbourne Cup Day there with Tomahawk attacking the line strongly and bringing some of that trial form to the races Yeah, um, yeah really pleasing the way, way he ran, that um the horse has uh, been pretty well schooled and uh, a, a brilliant ride by Jake. He uh, tra tracked up, got out at the right time and, uh, yeah, it was pretty to watch. We mentioned the form lines from last prep as well, behind Disco, Riffick and Jawendis. They've certainly held up, so you must have been confident coming here today. Yeah, he's, the horse just trained on. Uh, he's been a, a very immature horse and he's only just start, starting to uh, muscle up over the top. And, uh, yeah, it should be a good future for him. Looks to be lightly framed as he comes back in as well. Is that the reason for just your patience through these early stages? Yeah, we just wanted him to fill out. He's um, uh, just one of those one of those horses take a little bit more time, so he's missed out on the three-year-old. But, uh, yeah, he should go forward. Now, as you said, as a four-year-old, do you just go through your grades? Um, yeah, just take, take it as it comes at the moment and see how we go. Well, you've got the three-year-old in the next, the full brother as well. What can we expect here from Belter? He's a uh, very talented. Uh, he's been trialling well and... Uh, He's a uh, lot different to Tomahawk. He's got a lot more body about him. But um, it's a very good three-year-old race. This next one, I reckon, there's some nice horses in it. So we're, whatever wins will be going, going forward from there. Well done, mate. Congratulations and best of luck in the next. Thanks, mate. With winning jockey now, Jake Casey and Jake Melbourne Cup. It's been a nice little omen for you. I think you won race one last year aboard Stocks when you beat the favourite in Bomber Bay and you've got away to a flyer again today. Yeah, it was, yeah. Got off, got down to a good start, so yeah, going good. This horse, uh, as your dad said, he's been patient with as well. The trials are nice. The form from last prep were good. Were you confident coming here? Yeah, I was. Um, his trials have been real good this prep and, uh, you know, he's been going really well. He's he's just he's still a bit green and still learning a bit but um i think he's pulling it all together now what's been the biggest improvement that you felt since riding is it the size that he's put on or is it his uh, mental capacity yeah yeah he's just uh, a lot smarter horse than what he has been and uh yeah i think he's gonna be a nice horse once he matures it and everything's in the right place what about the full brother in the next belter uh, some really nice trials here it's a good race as well but are you confident you can make it two from two yeah it's a strong field the next but um you know he's been going super as well so i'm hoping he'll go right as well jake well done mate thank you there's jake casey the winning jockey aboard of tomahawk taking out race number one here at